Well, howdy doodly do, boys and girls. Um, that's the Mac operating system, isn't it? All you Mac people will recognise all this, you know, all the stuff down here. Um, I've compiled, uh, initially, Relight um, for the Mac. Also, Mudwalker, there's a version that I'm testing at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd show you what you're basically supposed to do um, with the files you want to get and where everything goes because I don't know the Mac operating system very well, although I'm obviously programming it, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I know, but uh, I'm a bright lad. But I'll um, I'll show you where things go. First of all, this is the actual plugin file. Relight Mac Dilib, right? So you'd copy that, I won't need to because it's already on my system. Um, and then what you do if I remember, is you go there, you go library, go to application support, Autodesk, Moodbox 2010, and then under plugins, that's where you put it, in there, okay? Um, that's where the actual plugin goes. Now the config file, uh, which is a nice little folder, oh, you'll notice there that's my code, right? that's the source code for the you know, application independent source code. At least in theory, there's a few tweaks got to be done to Mudwalker. Um, obviously, things have got to be removed that don't aren't supported on the Mac. Right. Um, now, the actual files you want to put on yourself, go to the Autodesk folder under Applications, under Box 2010. Now, what you're going to want to do is to put this folder in, Relight. Okay, I'll supply that. Inside that, is a file with config.txt. Put the location of After Effects. Now I'm told reliably that's the location of CS4. It's not on here, I can't test it, so um, the chances are if you're watching this, then you know you already have it and stuff like that. But uh, keep it the same as it is there, don't put it on the next line or anything like that, you know. You don't need to put any uh, hashtags or anything like that. It's very, very simple, easy to configure. Um, and providing you have a default uh, install location, then it's not a problem. Um, I can't see many people on the Mac having a non-default uh, installation path, but if you do, let me know and I'll do a recompile with a few added bits. And that's basically it. Um, and that's basically what you do with Relight. I'll be making that available first. I've got no idea how to make an installer for the Mac, so I've got to do a bit of a research on that one. So that's why I'm explaining on this video what you're supposed to do. So there you go. Relight for the Mac operating system. Mudwalker is coming very soon. You would all given up on that, hadn't you? You thought, oh, it's never going to happen, you'll never get it, you know, and I'd been let down and stuff um, by a certain company that were offering to uh, compile it for me. Uh, reason for that will become obvious, I think, later in the year. Um, so, yes, I've managed it. One day I'll tell you the full story behind all of this and why it was such a pain in the arse. But I never give up. So you will see Mudwalker, it will be the same as the PC version, um, same as Relight is. The only caveat about that is obviously there's no point putting applications like 3D Studio Max that aren't supported on the Mac because, well, basically you're never going to use it, right? So, there you go. It'll support what the Mac supports. Apart from that, we're exactly the same. I'm Wayne Robson. Bye-bye.